Okay, so this is some new car parts I just got in. These are Mazda RX-8 04 to 08 um, S2 style tail lights that I just got. I got them off eBay for about 190 bucks plus like $15 a tax. These are the tinted ones. The ones that most people get are the um, untinted ones. But I wanted to try the tinted ones and I know at some point in time I'll get better tail lights like REMEMEA tail lights. So these are just temporary for the time being, just something for a budget build that hopefully will look nice. And yeah. So I'm just gonna open this box up real quick and we can get a look at these. I this is my first recording, of course, and I haven't looked at them. I've only seen pictures online. So I'm hoping that this that these look good and next part you'll see will be the install which I am doing tomorrow morning and then in the evening time I will also include in a clip of what they look like at nighttime so let's get this box open so these are sold by Vippy Motos or some something like that how to call them I'm not really sure how do we get okay so here they are okay so this is the left tail light so let's actually look at this I'm not set it on my knife where it's gonna get like scratched and shit okay so as you can see these look like s2 tail lights but they are for s1 um, these are basically just plug and play. So you remove your current lights. So you have your backup light, your tail light, and your brake light. I don't even know if that was in the right order. I think it was actually. Um, so these are what they look like. They are a light smoke tint. You can see in there. So they're reasonably, they're actually not that dark. My only complaint is if you look, you can kind of see that under that tint is a chrome, but honestly, that shouldn't be too big of a deal because when it's on the car and you're looking at it from say like over here, it just looks like a tinted tail light, tinted S2 tail lights. And they should be just as bright at nighttime, hopefully, because this tint, if you look, isn't crazy dark, so. These should work pretty well. Let me actually put this one back and look at the other one just to make sure that it's all there and it is not like messed up or something. So let's get this open if we can. Okay, so this is the right hand side tail light. Here's your keyhole for your trunk. So that stays the same. And I believe you just reuse your gaskets from your OEM uh, RX-8 taillight. Um, I'd suggest getting new ones because OEM RX-8 S1 taillights especially are known to just leak. But, you know, that's not that crazy big of a deal um, if you can't get them. I would just suggest it so that you don't have to deal with any leakage into there. All right, so it is the next day. We have the new tail lights outside and we're going to be installing them. So here we have our stock S1 RX-8 tail lights. They're good, they look good, but I think those are gonna look a whole lot better. So what you're gonna need to do is, well, my trunk is already partially disassembled, so I'll just sort of talk you through it. You're gonna want one of these and you're going to want to basically just remove this trim that goes along the back wall of your car. So then what you really want is you want this side here, and you want this side here. I've already removed some of these little clips. They're just little clips and they go in like that and you push them in and then that's that. 
So easy way to pull them up is using the flathead side of a screwdriver. So once you have basically the majority of those out, you're gonna see these wires here and a ten, two 10 millimeter bolts. Yep, so you have one here and you have one back there and you're gonna wanna disconnect all three of these wires. Um, let me see if I can show you. Just basically pulling that out, just like that on all three. And once you do that, get my giant hands back in there. <laughs> uh, oh boy, that one's tough. Let me use my right hand. This one's stronger. No other reason. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna pull that aside. Just make it easy. And I may actually need a pair of for this. Um, yeah, let me go get some pliers. We'll get that out and I'll show the next step. Okay, so after you have your three connectors all removed, you're gonna wanna take your 10 millimeter and you're gonna wanna remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. You can see the other one back in there. Um, I th think as far as bolts go, that is it. I'm like 99% sure, so yeah. So let's get this last one out of here. Okay. And I mean, this isn't just for these tail lights. If you're installing new stocks or if you're installing, you know, the other version of these tail lights, if you're, you know, basically any tail lights that you're installing, these are the same steps you're going to have to take. So this is just a helpful video in general but these are for these tail lights. So now that, that is done with, I believe, you can just pull this out. Oh. oh, there's a tab here. I don't wanna lift that up, I guess. Okay. Now we do, see this is what happens with stock RX-8 seals. They just, disintegrate luckily these ones that i got do come with fresh seals okay i'm gonna do the next step and pull out the other so things. now that the first tail light is out what you're gonna want to do is remove your your reverse light your brake light and turn signal which i have already done right here you just basically twist turn and pull them out you're gonna wanna set those aside for when you grab your new tail light and use those back in there. I also forgot to mention you have to disconnect this little guy down here. So make sure you do that before you pull it out. Now, if your trunk, uh, well, anyways, if your tail light housing where your tail light sits looks like mine, I definitely suggest just taking a wet rag and just wiping away the muck. I mean, this may be futile since, I mean, literally my whole bumper is covered in ash from these nasty things, but it is good because you don't want those fresh new tail lights, whichever ones you may go with to get all this grease and grime and just years of built up dirt and crap on them. It'll also make it better for your gaskets, your new gaskets when they make a seal against the car just to not leak. So. Just make sure you clean this up really well before you put on your new tail lights. Next step will be me putting in said tail lights. Okay, so after a little bit of figuring out, this is what we got. So this right here is our, that should be our turn signal light. That is our reverse light. Your brake light comes out because it sits on the far, or it sits closest to your trunk your turn signal light fits closest to the outside fender of your car. So you're just basically going to move everything over one and keep that as a spare. Okay, so new tail light is in. So what you're gonna do is there's this black connecting end that's gonna come through that third housing. Then you have this end here. These are gonna snap together. 
Then you're going to have this red and black wire that's going to connect to this um, white piece that snaps out from here. So if I just pull this out real quick, well, I can't pull it out. Anyways, this is the same piece from your stock. Here we go. So this is going to connect to this big white piece. Now, the next part, you're probably going to like panic or something because um, you don't have a piece for this. All you're going to do is remove your brake light bulb and you're going to plug in this big black connector and you're going to plug in your other stock connection just like that. Now, if we go and turn on lights, voila, look at that beautiful looks great looks great so yeah i'm gonna get the other side installed and i'll show you the final product here all right so both sides are in after i figured it out it was actually pretty easy so at nighttime they're reasonably dark obviously this is with lights off so come in here just turn those on boom Still gotta clean them because there's some handprints on them, but that's no stress. Really, really changed the look of the car. Makes the rear look a lot more aggressive. I like it. All right, so that is it for these install. Um, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments. Um, and here shortly, I'll be uploading videos on install for the aluminum plate that goes in the engine bay. So catch you later.